Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. Oh, very nice. Ten of Cups. I'm looking at the Crab. You could be a Cancer, they could be a Cancer, someone could have Cancer in their chart. Also, late June, July um, could be a time that has been or will be significant between the both of you. But the Ten of Cups, wow, let's, let's wrap this up here. <laughs> no, let's keep going. So they feel, they either are in a place where they feel very, very happy with you, about you, um, when they think of you, even if you're not talking, you're not in communication, it's their happy space, it cheers them up. Um, and if they don't currently feel all of this joy and happiness, what they believe and think is that there is huge potential in this connection between you to have this Ten of Cups together. Knight of Wands, lots of passion. This is kind of a romantic knight. He's got a rose in his mouth. He's also, he's also got his little satchel briefcase type thing so this could be someone who would love to whisk you away they want to to pay you a visit they would love to come and see you to surprise you but the knight of wands yes passion attraction fun excitement this knight as i said this knight of wands has like a romantic element to it as well so a nice blend there but so far i would say this is really really nice there's a feeling as well of um wanting to be impulsive towards you um, and I know, of course, this guy is surrounded in yellow, if you look at his body, um, if the camera will show it. And I know that's because of the fire, but also if we think of the yellow as being connected to the solar plexus, it's like your person feels confident when they think about you, they feel powerful, and now they want to take action, they're inspired to take action here. We have the world, so for some of you, absolutely, travel, going away with you or, or making a trip to come and see you is definitely on their mind. Yes, a Six of Swords reversed. So this could be a very literal journey, as I've been saying, or it could be that they've pulled away. Something's created distance, potentially this third party we're going to look into, if that applies, um, and they want to make a return, an emotional return to reconnect, to reach out, to speak. Sometimes for me, when I get the Six of Swords um, and maybe the Chariot as well, I think of an actual vehicle, getting in a vehicle and, and coming to you. Um, okay, wow. Six of Swords reversed though, and when this is reversed, the person pointing is pointing back towards the spread. So yes, this is someone who wants to make a return. With the world, a cycle could have closed between you and your person's thinking and feeling that they would love to begin a new one. And this new cycle will be filled with happiness, fulfilling the potential here that's between you both and not holding themselves back. So if they felt this passion all along, they might have been saying, oh, it's not appropriate, it's not a good time, it's a bit reckless, blah, blah, blah. And they might have really slowed the momentum here to the point where it created a separation or a distance. Okay, what else, please? This is uh, very, very nice. Okay, so what is my viewer's person thinking and feeling about my viewer? That's too much, but I did get the Two of Pentacles reversed. So, you see, if they had a decision, if they were being iffy, wishy-washy, there's complete certainty now. Okay, what else? What is my viewer's person thinking and feeling? Nine of Cups reversed. Ooh, okay. So this is reminding me a bit of the reading that I did. It must have been Wednesday um, of this week. So if you're watching this at a later date, because this is a timeless reading, it's going to be the one that was uploaded before this reading on my channel. Um, there was there was a knight of, uh, sorry, king of wands reversed. And the feeling was that in the past, this person was very much, I want this, I want it my way. I'm not interested in compromising and I want it now. Nine of cups reversed tells me they've come out of that energy because this is about self satisfaction. You know, I'm happy you know, I'm content, I'm fulfilled, I'm doing what I want, but I'm, I'm just thinking about me. Ten of Cups is me, you, and maybe other people as well. In um, many decks, there are kids in the background, so that's potentially suggestive of family. Um, but, but basically coming into a place where they're thinking about the happiness of themselves, of you, of the people you're both connected to. It's not just about, I want this, I want that. So that tells me that as far as your person's concerned, they have grown, um, they've been doing a lot of thinking, 
their behavior towards you if you are currently engaging you may have noticed has changed compared to when you first met if you're not talking if they do actually make this return that they're wanting to you might notice then that they're showing up in a different way we have the knight of pentacles wow this doesn't really concern me actually in this spread often i kind of do an inward sigh when i get this card because it's so slow <laughs> oh my god so slow um but it's balanced out by the knight of wands so i just feel this this is a really grounded energy um it's serious intent if you're looking at the knight of wands and you're thinking i know this kind of a person they're here then they're not they're hot then they're cold the knight of pentacles is here to reassure you that underneath this passion is the intention to grow to build um the good thing about the knight of pentacles is for me really this is the only knight that's thinking long term you know one day i'm going to be a king so i better lay the foundation now this is someone who wants to build with you in a, a visible um, manifested materialized physical sense so I'm seeing that their feelings for you are further ahead than the, the practical investment that's been made so their feelings ten of cups might be full-blown love here um, but practically perhaps maybe you are dating or you haven't got that far um, and they're thinking long term so it would need to be you know you go on dates or you get to know each other you get into a committed relationship you move in maybe you buy a home you know so I feel their feelings are further ahead than what's been able to happen so far in the 3D but they're saying I have the desire and intention to catch up you know for the practical the visible to match my internal feelings Just glanced over at the clock and it said 0909 09. so um i mean that nines could be very important but yeah i do feel a closing of a cycle that's really interesting i'm reading a book actually and just yesterday i came across a part that was talking about um something to do with pythagoras and the number nine talking about cycles closing so um wow interesting connection Okay, and the number nine, nine of pentacles. Wow. Ooh, this so, yeah, your person has been growing. They've been investing in themselves during this time, in their finances, in their progress, maybe making changes around career. So now they're in a good place where they're saying, okay, I really am inspired and I feel confident to make my return to you because I've got something to show for myself. And I have things I can bring, resources, time um, to this connection to help us build a future here. So they've been doing some really um, interesting work here in terms of sorting out their practical world, but also this inner reflection, understanding that they were being selfish before and that was ruining their happiness and yours. If you haven't watched the Wednesday reading, I believe it's a messages reading, you probably are going to find more um, messages in there as well because there's quite a big um, connection, I think, between the two here. Okay, four of wands reversed. Wow, for some of you, I do wonder if this is someone you maybe even had uh, a relationship with already, maybe even a family, a marriage, a home, and there might have been a separation or um, maybe, you know, a split for one reason or another, and uh, your person's intentions here, even if there has been, because this is, you know, a third party reading even if there has been another person in the meantime the feeling here I is i would like to make a return the third party could be work if they had to leave if they have to go somewhere travel for work they're now saying right i've done what i needed to now i'm coming back if that's not your situation this is almost leading us into the next section of this reading um your person saying i want to leave an existing stable foundation i want to pull myself out of that and come towards you and when i say stable i mean like how a house if it's built well is stable it doesn't mean you go inside and it feels like a home but from the outside it's a house that's standing you know um so they might not be happy they might not feel content but practically it seems like it's working and they're saying well yes but my happiness is over here with you okay Gosh, that is a very clear, nice message. I've got a couple of Oracle decks as well, so let's see what's going on with these. Okay, so my viewer's person's thoughts, feelings, intentions here with my viewer in this situation, please. Acceptance, and we have enlightenment. The first thing I got with acceptance is they have accept accepted themselves. 
You know, they feel better about themselves, which means no more projecting onto you, no more being insecure and creating drama because they're feeling insecure, none of that. Um, and no more thinking, now isn't the right time, I need to be better, I need to change this, I need to do that. It's almost like acceptance of how things are, where they are, what the situation is, and moving forward regardless, you know, figuring it out as you both go. Enlightenment, yeah, makes complete sense. And look, we have this yellow again talking about the um, solar plexus here. So I feel like they've realised things about themselves, their capabilities, made changes, they've realised that they weren't showing up in a way that was productive for you and the connection and them in the past. Um, and that's very empowering. That's very motivating and confidence boosting. Okay, so let's have a look. I always get questions about this deck I'm about to use. This is the Victorian Flower Oracle. Ooh, intoxication, grapevine. Okay, so they are very intoxicated by you and I can see that. Also, we do have this nine of cups, which as I said, can be indulgence, maybe overindulgence even. I do wonder if this is someone who drinks quite a bit, um, because grapevine's making me think of grapes and wine. If it's not drinking, it could be something else. And maybe in the past, this was like a bit of a toxic trait of theirs, if they were doing it in excess. Perhaps now it's something, um, maybe they still do it to the same degree or, or not but when they do they think of you maybe um maybe you met this person while you were out at a bar or something like that um yeah this is definitely giving me sort of bacchus vibes dionysus you know as well but yeah i mean this is all about them wanting the pleasure with you to um not have to hold themselves back um but remember this Knight of Pentacles is a reassuring message that it's not just about pleasure and fun and then disappearing. Also the thing with um, Bacchus or Dionysus, whether you're thinking Roman or Greek myth, is that um, he's also the god of harvest as well. So it's almost like a celebration after the hard work, a reward after the hard work. And I can see the hard work here, this introspection, making moves in the 3D as well to better their position. But also, you know, of course, I'm sure you've been doing your own hard work on your side as well. So they want both of you to have this release together, this, you know, chance to celebrate how far you've both come to enjoy what you've created for yourselves internally, externally, to celebrate with one another, to celebrate each other's successes, um, to really just have fun now, to be together, to enjoy each other, to not have to continue to work so hard in separation or in whatever the situation is. They want more togetherness, building together now. Okay, so let me clear this away and we will have a look at the third party. So as I said, if for whatever reason you're you're checking out, signing off here, um, you know, good for you knowing that that's a good move for you. And thank you um, for being here. I hope the first part was helpful. But if you're sticking around, ooh, okay, let's get into this. So the third party, whether it's romantic, um, a family member, a friend, could be a group of friends, could be um, a job. It could even be like a really difficult way of thinking or, or very low vib of, wow, a low vibrational pattern of thoughts or some sort of behavior that they have that's so prevalent it feels like it's a third party, you know, within your connection. Um, so I'm gonna try and interpret these cards basically romantically and otherwise and also as though they're talking about a third party human and also a third party thing so let's see how we go so my viewers a person's thoughts and feelings about the third party within this connection please the third party affecting this connection the world <laughs> it's almost like bye see you later <laughs> okay well there we go um, and we have this overlap that we just saw with how they think and feel and their intentions towards you. So here we go. It's like they want to leave this and make their way to you. So remember, we also have that four of wands reversed. So it's like, I'm signing out of this. Bye, I'm done. I'm off. Someone could be ginger, have ginger hair as well. Because, um, I mean, there's lots of color hair in this deck, but for some reason it's the ginger hair of this 
fish <laughs> actually <laughs> that's really um drawing my attention in so yeah okay we have the moon reverse we've got pisces here did we have any major arcana a moment ago i feel like we might not have which tells me things are moving very very quickly regarding you in your person's mind um so that's exciting okay the magician gemini energy there ten of wands this is already more of a mixed bag. This is more like heavy, complicated feelings. We have the Knight of Cups. King of Wands. The High Priestess. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. And on the back we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so I'm getting, a, um, okay, well, let me just, let me just see. So, the first and most obvious thing to me here is that whether your person is dealing with a romantic partner, as in long-term partner or spouse, um, family, maybe, who are interfering, or even perhaps, say, a boss at work or something like that, they're doing something behind this third party's back. Um, basically, this person here, your person has intentions to have a fresh new cycle, to have a new start with you. And they are doing things behind this third party's back to prepare for this. Um, whether it's just thinking, building up their confidence, getting themselves into a place where emotionally they're ready to move towards you whether it's stashing away money, creating a travel plan of how and when they can come and see you, house hunting, if it's, um, if it's work, if it's a job, job hunting for something else. Um, but they are doing something behind this third party's back that connects to a new start with you. That's something I'm seeing all over this reading. The Magician, the High Priestess, it's something big, it's something powerful, it's something that's actually taking shape and it's very very secret with the high priestess so the first thing i can see is the situation between your person and the third party is uh, even if they're under the same roof they have separate worlds they have separate lives um maybe a life together in a practical sense but then these very private lives um and the other one knows nothing about it that's the first thing i'm seeing if um let's let me just pause here and say if your person's third party has been something psychological or emotional within themselves i feel they're saying i'm done with this with the ten of wands wheel of fortune i can see i have awareness of how this is preventing me moving forward in a positive way and it's like they're doing this work internally to um um to take back control if they feel their thoughts are ruling them they're saying no i it's my mind i will decide what i think and what i you know which thoughts i invest in i don't actually see them going to anyone outside of themselves for support or help with the high priestess i feel like they're trying to um do this by themselves for themselves at least at this time um yeah i mean to be honest this, you know I'm, I'm trying to find out your person's thoughts and feelings about the third party and what spirit's giving me is what they're doing regarding or in this situation with the third party this as i said your person all over this reading i'm seeing they're doing this behind the third party's back preparing themselves to make an approach to you or to be with you that's what's going on there so i'm not yet really seeing how they feel or what they think of the, the third party i will look again to clarify but i mean we can definitely infer that there isn't trust maybe there's not too much respect either or your person just feels they can't speak their truth or they shouldn't um there's a feeling of detachment here there's definitely i'm seeing a feeling of i want to leave this situation again could be overbearing parents friends who need to to you know a friend group they want to leave behind could be a spouse karmic okay so let me before i pull more cards to see what else they're thinking and feeling 
about this third party. Let me just read this as though, or in addition to the message that really I feel the strongest, you know, that they're trying to get to you. So let's say Knight of Cups, King of Wands, um, in relation to this third party. So that would suggest some romantic feelings, inclination, and the, the let's say Knight of Wands, sorry, King of Wands is very um, passionate about whatever they're focused on and, and they want to take action on it. So we've got the passion, we've got the romance. This King of Wands is looking over at the Knight of Cups. Um, can I just pause here? This does, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this because I know you might wonder, well, you're asking about the third party and I'm seeing the Knight of Cups, King of Wands. So that's why I'm reading this interpretation, but I'm getting confused as I'm even trying to do it. And I feel like spirit's like, no, 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 that's not the message. Like I, I'm wanting to say Knight of Wands, King of Cups, I'm going all over the place. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. Look, King of Wands, Knight of Cups. The King of Wands is looking at the Knight of Cups. Possibly your person's feeling driven to try and make something romantic happen here with the third party but look it keeps falling flat ace of wands reversed so maybe it's like they have no attraction to this person if it's a romantic situation and they're like well this is my husband wife i should make an effort i'm going to go home today and i'm going to find them attractive they go home and ugh, they feel nothing and they're tired so they go to bed do you know what i mean <laughs> but i i just don't think that's what we're dealing with here i think this is them the the primary message i'm getting so far is they're doing something behind the third party's back to be with you. If it's work, it could be there's like a patient um, doctor situation or client employee, no, not client employer, client. And, you know, like if you've hired someone like, a, I don't know, an accountant, a lawyer, whatever, and for some reason it's they shouldn't um, cross that professional boundary they might be trying to move into something else or move somewhere else so you're not their patient or client um if it's family and they maybe potentially even live still with their family they might be trying to move out so they can do their business in private um yeah i mean if it's if it's a husband wife partner not telling this person look i'm i don't see a future here for us and I don't feel impassioned to try and create a future either anymore um, not telling them that and not telling them that they have plans to make a, um, a move towards you for some of you it's definitely coming back towards you so I do wonder if you were having some sort of dealings with this person before this third party um, even if let's say you knew each other years and years ago and nothing romantic was ex um, was expressed between you but maybe your person had feelings that they just never shared and now they want to come and tell you okay can you tell us anything else about my viewers person's thoughts and feelings about the third party three of wands i feel this could be someone for some of you if it's a spouse a long-term partner that they have children with um and they are thinking about that like okay well how do i continue to nurture this family situation without actually being in a relationship with this person that I've had a child with. We have temperance, we've got Sagittarius there. Oh, double Sagittarius, double Pisces, double Sagittarius. We have Gemini. Oh, I think we had one major arcana in the first heart night look knight of pentacles reversed there is no forward movement whatsoever it is stagnant that's what your person is thinking and feeling um about this third party there is a yeah there's a feeling here though of them being part of something that's outside of them and say one other person so it's a business they've created with someone and they're still wanting to give to this and invest in this but kind of not have direct dealings with this person it's it's parents it's family it's cousins or friends you know i still want to and need to be a part of this family situation and there are certain people in this friend group i like and i'd like to stay in touch with but how do i do it from more of a distance um, temperance yeah I kind of I don't want to completely overturn you know it's not just rocking the boat I don't want to overturn it and throw everyone and everything out but I've got to make a change because nothing's happening nothing's changing there's no growth for me here 
Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, wow. So they see this third party as being, you know, whether it's an individual or a collective, as being cold, cynical, kind of bitter, angry, someone or a collection of group of people who use their words um, in a very low vibrational way. You know, they use their words with the intention of wounding. And it's like, well, if I tell this person, all these people, my plans, they will try and sabotage them. They will try and ruin them. They will be angry with me. They will be cross with me. I also, for some reason with this Queen of Swords, I'm getting a feeling of justice, the law, courts. So maybe your person feels that whoever they're dealing with would try to bring in something to do with legalities or contracts um, and use it against them to prevent them from making some kind of a change. We have the Three of Cups reversed. Yeah, you see what I mean? Three of Wands is about manifesting the future um, and, vi you know, having a vision and wanting it to come to life. Three of Cups reversed is like, I want this, but I don't want to do it whilst being so heavily involved with with you, this third party, or this, this group of people that make up this third party. It's like, I want the investment, I want the, I want to put in the work, and I want what comes from putting in the work, but I, I don't really want to be around you. So let me give examples. Yes, we have a child together, of course I want to be involved, and I want to, you know, co-parent equally and raise the child but I don't want to be with you I don't want, don't want to do it living under the same roof as you or being in a relationship with you or if it's um, a business yes I want to engage as a business partner but I don't want to socialize with you I don't want to I don't want to talk about your weekend you know I just want to talk about what we're doing the work we're doing and I feel it's something that they are already involved with, they've already started, otherwise they wouldn't do it in this situation with this person or these people. Because you see how this, it's like a vine coming from this person's stomach, they've already got an attachment. The vine is going to the, the pre-existing plants, they've already invested. Um, otherwise they would choose someone else, they would choose other people. If it's a family they were born into, you know, it's, they're like, well this is my family, I'm, I'm already here, I'm invested. Um, so how can I make it work but from more of a distance? We have judgment reversed. Yes, I want to get up and shout to the world, I'm leaving, I'm done, but I do not want to blow everything up for everybody involved. Ace of Swords, yeah, complete truth and clarity that they feel that this isn't going to change, this situation, this third party situation is not going to change. Um, it's just that there is something here though, Three of Wands, worth keeping, worth saving, um, and it feels to me like a result of or um, a product of the situation between your person and this third party. Um, something they've built, something they've established, something they're currently nurturing. If it's, a, if it's um, a job they need to leave, it could be they've got a really good client base, they have great clients, you know, um, or everything about where they work is perfect, it's close to home, it's a really nice commute and it's good hours, that sort of thing. And they're like, ah, oh, it's kind of gutting that I've got to leave those perks behind. But overall, I do need to make a change in my work or my career. And then we have the Five of Swords. You know, your person has come to expect nothing but grief from this third party, whether we're talking about a boss, a wife, a husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, um, parent. For some of you, I've even, I'm sure I've even read comments where you've said someone's child, like an adult child is being deliberately difficult. But your person's come to expect nothing but grief, arguments, conflicts, um, battles, wars, you know, unspoken battles of I'm not going to break the silence first, so one-upmanship, I want to win. That's what they think and feel about this person and this situation. 
Um, the only really only positive thing I'm seeing here is this three of wands This is the only nice thing to come out of this situation with this third party for your person um, And I think right now it might be one of the only things that's making it slightly uh, More challenging for them to make a change not impossible but more challenging. It needs careful Careful planning. If this person walks away, just turns around and walks away, whatever this kind of gross vine is that's coming out of their stomach is going to tear, these three plants will die. So, you know, and you can see this person's thinking, their, their chin is sort of, their hands around their chin and it's like, okay, how can I do this? How can I step away from this but keep what I've grown here alive? Clarify the three of wands, please. Queen of Wands. Ah, Wheel of Fortune. Yes, how do I leave this and get towards you, the viewer? There's something about you that seems in a way um, very attractive, slightly unreachable. Um, I think in the past they may have felt you were too good for them, which created all sorts of insecurities and drama. Um, and might even be why if you were already dealing with this person and then they went to someone else, it could be why they went to this someone else because actually they didn't view this person so highly, which kind of says a lot about how this connection even began and what they think of this other person. Um, and that's of course, if it's a romantic situation. Um, there's something about you that's quite fierce as well, actually. Um, okay. Let's get the oracle cards and see. So can you tell us anything else, please? How does my viewer's person think and feel about the third party, the situation? Thoughts and feelings, please. Insecurity, yeah. And that's not surprising because I feel all these to do or if it's if it's your person and a group all they do is five of swords is fight is argue is try to outdo each other there's nothing supportive there's nothing secure comforting about this situation um and now this is also making me think again of that message that if your uh person the third party for them is this a mental process or an emotional process within see how we've got the heart um chakra and then we've got the devil it's like they understand i'm almost i'm self-sabotaging and the thoughts i'm having are actually very toxic very de detrimental to me i really need to get a hold of those so that's something yeah that they're working on this is obviously all red as well so the root chakra so going back to the first part where i was saying it might be a house that's standing, it's sturdy, but you go inside, it doesn't feel like a home. That's kind of it, you know? Um, something that is established, manifested in the 3D, but it's not, it's not, doesn't feel secure, doesn't feel safe, even if it's um, something that's standing. Yeah, look, despondence. And, uh, abundance right so this is probably what's kept them there for so long um and with these two people the guy he drops a coin he's like oh no it's my last coin what am i going to do he goes and he sort of like drinks away his problems which takes us back to that nine of cups ten of cups message from earlier the girl comes along she comes up with this um creative way of of putting down a string I think I can't remember from the book it might have gum on it or something and she she sticks it to the coins and pulls them all up now this is someone being creative this is someone who believes in themselves and that's exactly what I'm getting with this three of wands I've got to think about this I've got to put some effort in but I know I can do it and she does and she goes off and she buys herself a lovely house so I do see a change in your person's thinking and also they've created a great deal more abundance for themselves now, so they probably feel more confident to step out on their own. They're not dependent on this third party financially. So, you know, they could have been living maybe with parents or family or friends, or if they were in a relationship with um, a spouse or something, staying because they couldn't really afford 
to move out or anything like that but I do feel there's been a change internally and externally as well but yeah you know abundance maybe um, maybe it's a nice house on the outside maybe they have a good quality of life that could have trapped them for a while but it's almost like it became too much too unfulfilling too stagnant and then you know we've got the contrast of their self-confidence growing and feeling like maybe they are good enough for you so it's just like clearly now figuring out how to leave and making it happen is it's just the far more obvious and better option um than than staying so okay let's get some of these Wishful thinking. So my viewers person's thoughts and feelings about the third party. An influential person. Let's get one more. Games. Yeah. Okay. So I do feel we have this Queen of Swords, we have this Five of Swords. So this other person or group of people have had influence over your person. Yes, maybe they have influence in general, in work, career, in their friend community, or, you know, whatever it is. This person has some degree of influence. But look at, you know, games. This makes me think of mind games, five of swords. Um, the wishful thinking could have been, I don't know, I wish this person would stop playing games with me. I wish they would stop trying to control everything. I wish... Um, I wish they would just relax and not be so uptight. Also at the start, possibly your person looking at this third party and thinking, and I'm thinking now specifically for a romantic situation, thinking, gosh, they seem to hold a lot of influence. People look up to them. I wish they'd notice me. Well, your person got their wish and now they regret it because they've seen behind the scenes. Yeah, there's a lot of game playing, manipulation, secrets um low vibrational intentions here with this third party situation intentions to wound and um reduce rather than support uplift encourage it's none of that it's kind of like well you hurt me so i'm gonna hurt you more well i'm gonna hurt you even more okay well i'm gonna give you the silent treatment you know it's that sort of a thing and let's say this is um Let's say this is a parent um, for your person. This is a parent who doesn't necessarily encourage your person to find their confidence and to move forward. It might be this, this parent trying to minimise your person and their strengths so that they won't leave home or that they won't go off out into the world, you know, and not be right there all the time. Okay, so I will leave this here. I guess this is not the sort of reading then that needs a trigger warning. Um, you know, I just, I do hope this person does make them move towards you. It looks to me like that's exactly what they're working on because this is, this is a horrible, sad situation that no one needs to be in or deserves to be in. The, you know, the positive thing here with this Five of Swords is there's a white flag in the background. So maybe it's like, you know, just let's just call it quits. Let's just stop this nonsense this fighting and just go our separate ways let's just have peace here okay so i will leave the reading here um thank you so much for watching i hope you got something out of this and i will see you soon bye